Good morning listeners and welcome to the Trade Talk podcast. This is Shrikan Chauhan from Kotak Securities Precision Research. Globally, key major factors are offering the most awaited relief with the dollar index turning a major correction from the highs of 113 to 109.75 and the 10 year bond yield is currently trading at 4% from the levels of 4.22%. On 21st uh, October, we mentioned that the markets are not reacting negatively uh, to the upsurge in the dollar index and uh, to the activity, upward activity of dollar uh, bond yield. Uh, actually, that has actually helped the market to reverse from the lower levels and eventually we saw the markets are um, uh, recovering from the lows on day-to-day basis. On Tuesday, Wednesday also. Uh, we saw a substantial rally in the US markets. Although the NASDAQ was down because of the earnings of uh, major IT companies, uh, but otherwise the overall sentiment, uh, if we uh, go through with the S&P 500 or Dow Jones, then uh, there we are seeing a lot of momentum and uh, furthermore bullishness. Based on that, if we see our markets, then on Tuesday, we saw some profit taking from higher levels. The market was completely in between and we were of the view that 17,800 should act as major resistance for the market. There we should look for taking some profit on the long positions which actually clicked and that day we saw some correction from the highs after hitting the levels of 17,800. But at the same time today on the back of uh, uh, overall uh, strength in the uh, global markets we are going to see higher opening. Uh, we need to see that whether the market manages to cross the level of 17,820 or not, which is the highest point of Tuesday's trading. So in case if we see the market is crossing 17,820, then it is bullish. If we are seeing, if we are going to see the markets are uh, opening somewhere close to 17,900, then there we should look for taking again profit on long positions because from there again we are expecting some correction in the market. But um, uh, in case the market fails or rejects to cross the level of 17,820, then again the market will come back to the levels of 17,650 or 600 which was the lowest of the previous day. So the strategy should be to buy if the markets are opening higher but again correcting back to the levels of 17,820, 17,750. For that we need to keep a stop loss at Tuesday's lowest level which was around 17,630. But if it fails to cross 17,820 then it is better to stay away. For the bank nifty there also we are expecting similar sort of activity. Uh, it it will uh, consolidate uh, between the range of almost its uh, previous high of uh, 41,200, 300 and uh, uh, on the downside uh, 40,900 uh, should act as major support for it. But uh, if we see the bank nifty is also sustaining above the mark of 41,500 then the chances of hitting uh, the levels of 42,000 would turn bright. So 41,500 is the level to watch out for. Above that we should be buyer on the bank nifty. Uh, that's all from my side. With this I am ending today's morning podcast. Thank you very much for listening us. Have a great day to all of you.